right so the goal of this uh, the goal of this video is to make is to demonstrate corner lag or the inherent latency in the game uh, this is a local area connection game so this should be theoretically as smooth as you're going to get uh, it is on split screen trucks on fire already all right, so this, this looks like a good spot right here. This looks like a good spot. All right, find it with the other character. <clears throat> so basically, what happens is there will be a discrepancy between uh, what player one and player two see. The faster your player is, the farther he travels in a given second, a given amount of time. So the faster your player model is, the farther he's going to travel. Uh, the bigger the advantage of the person that's running is going to have because if it's a if it's a if say if I run out here for a second and the guy can't see me for a second I have that whole second to react well it might not be that dramatic but that's the same effect you're getting so basically I, I come around the corner and if it's a tenth of a second I have an extra tenth of a second to react What I ended up doing was taking the video and cutting it up into individual frames. That way you can see the players as they are simultaneously. And what the findings are is the player that's moving comes around the corner approximately three to four frames before the other player can actually see him. We start at frame 1 time equal to 0. Player 1 and player 2 have no vision of each other. At time equal to 0.017 seconds, frame 2, they still have no vision of each other. At time equal to 0.034 seconds, frame 3, player 1 has no vision but player 2 does. At time equal to 0.051 seconds, frame 4, player 1 has no vision but player 2 does. Player 3 finally gains vision at frame 5, just the elbow. For player 1, not much changes between the last frame and this frame, but player 2 has a large vis uh, lot of vision. At frame 7, player 1 still has not very much to shoot at, while player 2 does. At frame 8, player 1 finally has something to shoot at. At frame 9, player 1 is still kind of screwed in this situation. He's fully exposed. Same with frame 10. Player 2 has full vision of player 1, and player 1 doesn't stand much of a chance. Frame 11, just more of the same thing. Player 1 is fully exposed right now. So some things we can take away from today's examples is that um, there was a two frame difference between when player 1 could shoot player 2 or could see player 2. Um, this equaled 0.034 milliseconds, but uh, even afterwards, player 2 still had a gigantic advantage I think it has to do with the way your body's positioned as you strafe. The person that's strafing from side to side looks like they have a lower profile and um, the only thing that sticks out is their arms while their waist is kind of in. While the person standing still has their leg, that leg and full side of their body is almost lined up in a straight line. So uh, that really hurts the person that's standing still. Well guys, thanks for watching my video. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips for me, or something you'd like to see a video on, please leave a comment below, um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. I think I missed a frame. Oh shit, what happened? In conclusion, the final... The...